We were shocked to find out how expensive apartment prices were here in Jakarta, Indonesia. When you compare it to other metropolitan cities in Southeast Asia, but somehow we were able to find a very affordable apartment in one of the most expensive suburbs of Jakarta, Kemang. And in this video, we are going to talk about the three points that led us to this apartment. And wait till the end of this video because we are going to share how much we have paid for this apartment and how much savings have we made. So let's get into it. important to choose the location based on your needs. Now you might be asking why are you staying in Jakarta? Why not Bali? To be honest we were considering to stay in Bali however Bali is not affordable at all. We did look for property in Bali and it was really really expensive. I don't know where are all these people who are saying that come to Bali it's very affordable. Where are they staying? Obviously we couldn't find one but what we did is we ended up going in Bali for six days and we stayed in a resort and just relaxed and chilled because we also needed a bit of break. But obviously Bali was not a choice and we had more preschool options in Jakarta and hence that's the reason why we decided to stick with Jakarta. So how did we find this apartment? We always prefer going directly with a real estate agent or a landlord and for that we researched a lot on Facebook expert groups and property portals such as Ruma123 and urban indo unfortunately we didn't have much luck because most of the units were way over our budget because as i said kemang is a pretty expensive area so what we did is we started looking for properties in airbnb and thankfully we came across this and we started a conversation with the landlord and that's how we got it we are tell you why this property was so affordable in some of the next points we are nabil and zanesta and last year we started an adult gap year with our toddler our goal is simple, to travel, focus on creating our freedom-based business and potentially find a new home. The condominium is called Marmala Kemang Residence and it is a gated condo with 24-7 security services so which tells us that it is a very secure complex. There are a couple of towers with a really nice swimming pool and a gym although the gym to be very honest with you wasn't the best and it's also got a laundry service, a co convenience store as well as a cafe. And within a couple of minutes walk from the condo you've got Indo Mart and Alpha Mart which are pretty popular convenience stores here in Jakarta. I think the availability of the convenience store near your house is very important because if you're living there for a longer period of time and given the traffic here in Jakarta, you wouldn't want to get stuck when you need some quick items at your home. And within 10 minute drive from the condo, you've got one of the most popular shopping malls here in Jakarta, Lipo Mall. And Yara School was also a 10 minute drive from our unit. Obviously, if you take a motorbike, you can reach there much quicker. So it was very important for us to be in this location because of these facilities. Condo is old, but it is nicely maintained. It has two bedrooms, two balconies, one bathroom, one powder room, and a kitchen and a living room. What I really liked about this house in particular is it's in open plan, exactly like it was back in our home in Australia. So I really enjoyed this very spacious environment. The landlord is an artist and you've got like, you know, paintings all across the, the unit and try he tried to make it as comfortable as possible and you know whenever we needed anything he was always very responsive and extremely helpful. So if you're looking to come to Jakarta and if you consider having a look in Kemang area drop us a message and we can pass on the information for our landlord. One thing I must highlight is that this unit doesn't have a laundry but downstairs they have a laundry service so which you can pay and it's like a dollar for one kilo and you can and it's very reasonable like you know they will will clean it, they will iron it, they will pack it up, they will pick it up, they will drop it off. It's an amazing service. So it sort of compensates for the fact that this unit doesn't have a laundry in, and I kind of enjoyed it. Because I have seen a lot of laundry services while we were traveling, so I kind of think that maybe most of the apartments don't have that facility and mm. these small laundry services are available exactly to service or cater to people like us. So I wouldn't imagine it would be there in other apartments unless it's a very modern apartment. Now 
let's come to the most important part. How much does it cost to stay in this apartment and how much have we saved? So we have paid 765 US dollars per month, which included everything like electricity, internet, the rent, service charges, etc. And we'll put the other currencies in the caption. So that's around 25 US dollars a day. To be honest, I found that very affordable given the fact that we wanted to go and stay in Bali and we really struggled to find any accommodation over there. I think you did the research. How much was normally accommodation in Bali when you did the research, Nabil? Usually the houses that we looked for in Bali were around 1500, 1700 US dollars. And I think it's because there's so many tourists that go to Bali. So there's always really the high demand. The price is jacked up, I yeah. believe, because there's so much demand from everyone. Like there's a lot of digital nomads, obviously in Bali. So yeah. there's a big demand, supply is low. And obviously they can charge all these premium prices. But in Jakarta, also we struggled to find a good accommodation closer to the school and the amenities, especially in the Kemang area. Obviously expats here in Jakarta would want to stay in this area. And as a result, the prices are also high here. Yeah, so as an example, like generally speaking, nice unit, two bedroom unit in this particular area would cost you around 11, 1200 US dollars around that range. So as you can see, we have, you know, sort of saved around three, four hundred dollars a month just by staying in this unit, which is, you know, in the same vicinity. Everything is great, just a little bit old. So if you are a digital nomad family or a traveling family and an expat, I hope this video was helpful for you to find accommodation here in Jakarta in Indonesia. We have actually done another video. It's a little bit more detailed around finding unit in the most popular cities in Southeast Asia. We'll link it for you over here if you do want to find out a little bit more that's got a lot more tips and tricks around how to find an apartment at great savings and also we mostly focus on expat locations in all these cities in Southeast Asia so if you are looking to look into expat locations that video is a good starting point for you and the other thing we wanted to highlight is that a lot of people asked us you know how did we do this so we created an ebook it is completely free we'll put the link for you in the description it gives you a bit of an overview as to how we design and adult gap here for ourselves. That's it from us today. We hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Happy travels in Jakarta.